Hi guys, I'm Shreema Rai and I'm with celebrity drape artist Dali Jane and we're at Pernia's pop-up studio today and we want to show you guys some fun ways to drape a sari. And this sari that we picked up from is from Baron Val and it's a beautiful sari and I'm going to show you how you can wear this sari with a beautiful blouse like a sleeveless blouse that he has and a black denim. I mean instead of using a petticoat you can use a denim uh, you know on this and okay I start by making my upper pleats like normally what we do is we start draping from tucking in here but this drape starts from your shoulder pleats so this is how you make your shoulder pleats so this okay and you keep pegging it up I mean just hold these take the support of these pegs and clasp them and you can just make your pleats keep using these pegs I would really advise you not to use safety pins instead of that use these pegs because when you use safety pins you unnecessarily make so many yeah. holes in the sari which is like it ruins the yeah. sari I mean yeah. this is such a delicate fabric imagine if you 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 thrown the sari it's gone exactly. so yeah so to just save time I've just made pleats so I'm just going to show you after you've done the pleats just rest it on your shoulders So the pleats are resting on your shoulders. I like it long enough because when you have your palla long, you have you know fabric enough to play around with. If you think this is too long and you want to leave it without taking it in your arms or that or something like that, what you can do is you can even keep it short. But at present I'm keeping it long because I really want to show you some drama with this. Okay, after this, what you do is just take this and tuck this in here so you have like a cowl like a you know a cowl kind of thing here same thing you go in back and now instead of pleating it like this I mean this way like normally I've seen what you do is you pleat it this way but instead of pleating it this way pleat it the you know like the width wise instead of pleating it length wise so you just take this and you pleat it. So yeah. So once you've done these pleats, like you can see what it does is. Take this and tuck it right below your knee. Like this. And then, and then you have to leave the same amount of cowl that you've left on the other side. This. You can see this cow and this cow has to be equal. Okay, and now you turn it out. So this, pull this. Okay. So this is the fabric which is left. Okay. Now what you do is hold them together and start making these together. So you pull them and make. Them. And according to the length, just take this and tuck this inside and drop this down. Okay. And yeah, your drape is done. Now to just enhance this, what you can do is you can use a waist belt. I mean once you use a waist belt, it looks really beautiful. And with this long palla, I mean, see sometimes I really feel like trailing the whole sari but if you don't wish to, what you can do is just take this and hold it in your arms, like you know, just hold it. See, then that looks nice because you, you're not planning to wear anything on this, you know, on this bread. Yeah, you can just sort of you can just, it Yeah, out, right? just hold it that way Yeah, and you know, you can just wear your watch that side. I think this looks really nice and if you think that uh, you know your back is too bare and you want to cover it so you can just take this instead of this side you can put the whole thing on this side yeah okay and then it covers the back see it just covers the back 
and the whole thing is there. So I hope you've understood this trip. It's pretty easy to do it. It's just by two, three ways of uh, you know pleating it up. The trick is to pleat it nicely and secure it with pins. And the rest I'm always there to teach you.